My friends, welcome back to the greatest channel on God's green earth today. We are talking about goals, specifically Dushan Vlahovic's goals, because he's scoring a ton of them. So we're going to look at exactly what he does well and what we can incorporate into our own game. Let's go. All right, so we've handpicked four or five of Dushan's goals because he scores a very, very wide range of goals, starting with this first one with his goal against Spezia. So you can see the one-two happens out here. As soon as that one-two happens, he checks, comes back, opens his body up, and then puts it in the back of the net. All that happens very quickly. In order for us to understand what exactly he did well, we just rewind a couple seconds. So first thing to notice, as this one-two comes in, boom, freeze. As soon as both the defender and Dushan realize that this one two is going to be successful, they know that they have to act. So the defender immediately thinks, all right, how am I going to handle the situation? It's two on one for him. Dushan thinks that he's got to get in and behind the defender. So he starts to take off and sprint. All right. But what clearly happens is the guy takes an excellent first touch, putting him in on goal. And as we play it, he immediately realized Dushan he, that he has to stop. He realizes he has to stop because there's no angle for the player to get the ball. He can't go through him. It's easier. He just stops. Now, once he receives this pass, the next excellent thing he does is open up his body completely and entirely. Now he has everything available to him. He can pass to the far post. We've got a teammate completely wide open. He can shoot to the far post because the goalie is obviously covering the near post. He can cut back to his right foot. He can do whatever he wants virtually. All right. So what he does is in two touches, though, realize, boom open up your body, show that you're playing to the far post, show that you're shooting to the far post. He cuts it right back to the near post. It's perfect. Before we get going, guys, we had one of the world's leading sports psychologists who works with top players in the NBA, MLS, NFL, to analyze exactly what the best performers are doing, thinking, and their habits. So please go right down below, click the link that is on our podcast. That video just came out at the same time as this one. So enjoy that and always look to expand your game. Now, onto the bit. So as we move to this next goal, you're going to see something very different. There's a bigger buildup and he's more involved. So check this out. Now the play comes in. He's actually looking for the ball right now, but his reaction is the best reaction out of everyone, out of everyone. All right. So it's very easy as a defender to, to fall asleep. You have to be on all the time. And if you turn off once, that's when the goal could happen. And that's exactly what we see here. So first things first, normal buildup. The play is a bit advanced. He gets the ball to his teammate and then you just keep pushing and keep moving forward. Now, all right, as we freeze right here, we can see now the play is at its critical point. He's cut in. It looks like he's about to have a shot with his left foot. Dushan and all his teammates are now looking for a pass and something like this. What ends up happening, of course, is that he turns around quite good actually to find the space because now as everybody's pushing all of them, the defenders, they know they have to stay compact. The ball gets swung out wide. Now this is the point with which the goal was made. All right. Not just all of the great work that had already happened, but this point right here is what gave Dushan the advantage. The defender has his back to Dushan. He's essentially lost him. And what that means is that you can surprise him by using just a little bit of a sprint to get in front. So many goals have been made like this, and he does this perfectly, all right? So he checks like he's going to the left side of the defender, and of course, he isn't at all. He sprints the defender. It's too late for it to happen. Excellent communication by his teammate who realizes that he's got to play the ball there and believe that Dushan's going to get there before it's even obvious that that's what should happen, all right? So there's a little connection that has to happen between the teammates, but Dushan realizes that, gets there, Excellent finish. You've just got to connect with it there. Not much you have to aim for. Put it on goal and it's going to go in. So now we've seen both goals inside the box to see exactly how he's moving and running. And most goals as a striker are scored in and around the box. This one gets created well outside of it. So we've highlighted this before. Ibrahimovic does this incredibly, incredibly well. Now, a situation you're going to find yourself in always as a striker is being more or less the last man or with the last man. As you can see, they're playing a very high line here. And when that happens, if the goalie isn't closing that gap, means that there's space in and over and behind. So once you see a player with his head up, that is the signal for you. All right. It's a principle that goes on with any other position as well. Once you see that the guy has his head up and he's got the ball right under his foot, that means you can go. All right. And Dushan realizes this. He takes off and it's too late. 
All right, so the defender realizes it, but he realizes it too late because Dushan is at a full sprint and you, of course, are running backwards as a defender. It's just not gonna work. So once that happens, he can never ever truly recover. He's already in on goal. The next thing that he does, goalie does a great job of coming out to try and close on the angle and actually does a, a really good job of pushing him wide because he takes his touch way wide, all right? That defender who's still trying to recover just doesn't quite make it, puts it in the back of the net. As you can see, Dushan takes that touch very far wide. Now, he doesn't really know where the defender is. He knows he's coming. He's got to understand that he's coming. You didn't see him look back and you didn't see all that. He knows what's going to happen. One of the reasons that he scored this is because he put the ball in the air. He put the ball in that danger zone, all right? Now we've talked about this on our one-on-one -on -one goals. We were specifically talking about what to do to put it, where to put the ball for, for goalies that they have zones that are hard. It's hard for you to do this. It's hard for you to lift your leg right there in these spots. That's why he scored. Had he put the ball on the ground, there is a slight chance that that guy could have gotten to it, all right? He does a really good job in doing his super yoga split, all right? <laughs> Looking like a... Uh, I have no idea, like a gymnast or something like that. It's just, it's just not going to work. But know this when you're going to finish these, these balls in on, especially on one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that. If you can lift the ball and it's the last offender, he can't use his hands. That's going to guarantee that the ball goes in. All right. One more note, the very last thing that also set this up for him. When you guys go and you're one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, he has. So if we freeze it here, you can see that he has all of the options available to him. He's about to get to the ball. He's got enough space and time. He could try and slot it, whatever. There's a whole bunch of things that he could try. His momentum is carrying him forward. He was at a full sprint before. So it makes sense that the goalie is just not going to be able to get to him. So he takes his touch and he takes it wide. Now, Notice that the goalie could have fouled him. He could have reached in, but he's done a pretty good job of hoping and praying that he's pushed him far enough wide. But in the end, he just hasn't. All right, so we've seen him get a cutback. We've seen him beat the defender to the ball. We've seen him beat players over the top. Now, this one is a complete and total buildup. As far as I'm concerned, he almost assists himself here, all right? You're gonna see this as a very, very big threat in this goal. His reaction is the best reaction out of everyone on the field, defenders and attackers included, all right? Because there are other players that would have had a chance to put themselves in this position and they don't, all right? So check out this goal. He receives it, takes a touch inside, protects the ball well looks to play it in and behind the defense, okay? What I want you to look at right now is the reaction from Dushan compared to everyone else. Everyone else, we're just gonna let this play now. He keeps going, he keeps going, he keeps going. There's no reason, there's no reason why any of the defenders could not have noticed that danger was happening. They just kind of fell asleep, they've been lulled to sleep. I think this is the third goal in that game and so, Guys are tired, it happens. It's not like it's never going to happen and people aren't gonna get tired. But regardless of that, he realizes he sniffs out danger and the only reason he scored was because he had a good reaction and realized there was danger. To realize that he can play the ball over the top. Now, as he takes a sprint, you can see a late reaction maybe by number 26 there. His teammate realizes that all he has to do is play the ball behind the defenders and all wingers, anybody, if you guys are playing out wide on the wing, so many of the times you don't even need to pick out a player. You just need to put the ball behind and let your teammates run onto it. Putting the ball in that space is so dangerous. And as a striker, you've got to realize that that's where the danger is. So even if Dushan didn't get it, he's got a teammate right behind him that probably could have gotten to the ball and put it in the back of the net. So if you combine all the things that we've talked about today, that's what ends up happening. That's why this guy's scoring so many goals in Serie A. All right. My boy Chiro Immobile, I think has more goals than him in less games. However, doesn't take anything away that when you start putting all the pieces together that he's got it right okay those are the type of things that you as a striker and you as an attacking player if you can incorporate all that stuff you'll see that your goals will start to go up all right so try to incorporate all of these things into your game slowly in training in games if you can when you're just messing around when you're watching games try and see if players are doing this stuff and watch as your own game changes all right, my friends, that's the vid. You know what to do. Leave us a like, comment down below, subscribe, put that bell notification button on, and check out GoalRamy.com, where, of course, we have GoalRamy Nation, the exclusive fight club for footballers, okay? This is where we have hidden content, interviews, all that stuff. We have promo codes for all sorts of stuff. We have such huge plans for GoalRamy Nation. Please go right down below. It is free right now still, and it will not be for long. So please check that out. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Light it up, light it up. Ah, light it up, light it up.
Dalilam, 